Being a single woman in LA can be awesome. The nightlife, the beach, the shopping, the fun. But somehow, all of that seems to change when you're middle-aged. My name is Fran, Argentina-born, single, and yep, middle-aged. My midlife crisis hit me hard, so I decided to fight back by embarking on a quest. Visiting all 50 states before I'm 50 and taking you along with me. Okay, world, here we go. Planes, trains, and automobiles, buckle up, because this is going to be one heck of a ride. Welcome to My 50 Before 50. Warning, I have an accident. Sometimes it may be hard to understand what I'm saying. Occasional grammatical mistakes may be heard or read. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, it's raining. Raining in Vermont. Now here we go. We do have an umbrella. Of course, that limits our possibilities of what we can do today because it's really cloudy, so no gondola up to the mountains. But um, we're still going to the Von Trapp to hear about their history. I'm gonna figure out something to do. I actually heard and uh, I drove by the little downtown yesterday, and it's beautiful and super unique with a lot of little stores. So that is something we might do today. We'll see. Rain you will not stop us. Rainy day indeed. Of course we're gonna go to where we were told we should go. I highly doubt we're gonna take a gondola up to the top of the mountain, but at least we're gonna get to the base. And even with the rain, this is gorgeous. At least to me. Would you look at the gondolas? There they are. Oh. But you know what? It's windy and it's raining. And I'm such a coward. So, yeah, I'm sorry that is not happening. I owe you that one, Vermont. I owe you that one. The gondola sky ride at the Stowe Mountain Resort takes you all the way up to Mount Mansfield the highest peak in Vermont, and it was one of the suggestions I had received for the day. But due to the weather, I decided to drive just a tad bit further and visit Smuggler's Notch. The smuggling at this now national park started after the Embargo Act of 1807, which the British bypassed right here, smuggling goods from Canada. It was later used by fugitive slaves fleeing the country, and then back in the times of the Prohibition, we all can figure out what for. It features boulders, caves, and just an amazing topography. Yes, even in the rain, but by then, I had a little message for that rain. Proasta, proasta. It's really boring. Basta. Stop it. Very rainy day in Vermont. In Stowe, Vermont. Good thing is that we're spending the night here in Stowe as well. So we don't have to be driving around. Just local, you know. Which is completely different. Not. to the Von Traps to hear a little bit about their history and see where they live. What do I know? So I don't think I'm going to ask this question, but if I had a question, I would ask them, if you could choose between having the ability to fly 
or to kill everybody that sings sound music to you on a daily basis? How would you kill them? And there you have it, the Von Trapp Lodge. scenery. And that's why Maria chose this land. Apparently Captain Von Trapp didn't want to buy the property, which of course was not this one. Because it was very old and he's like, this is going to fall down on us, which eventually did. But she said, you can rebuild the house. You cannot rebuild the view. Um, well, she liked. We just had a, a little history of the family. A lot of information because there were like a zillion kids and that's the cemetery so many of uh, the family members that have passed away are there now that includes captain von trapp and his beloved maria who rest together here in the family lodge they built together so many years ago in stowe vermont so distant from their native land yet so close to their hearts So after a quick visit inside, we were ready to say goodbye to this place. Or a Eden Zen farewell at you, you get the idea, right? Oh, but before we go... Yeah, I had to. So I didn't ask... I didn't ask that question. I didn't ask any questions, but it's fine. You know, it was interesting. I did learn quite a bit about the story of that family. I'll just tell you one little insight that I didn't know. Maria, the actual Maria wrote a book about the story and she sold it to, to um, a production house, to, to a production company in Germany. And she made all $9,000. And later, after making a couple of movies, that production house in Germany sold it to the American one who made The Sound of Music for 1.2 millions. Maria saw none of that money. Oh well, you know, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. Overall, I think they were, but you know, business-wise, that's a little frustrating, I'd say. <laughs> It was now time to pay a visit to downtown and hopefully get a much needed meal. Everything looks better when you're not hungry. I could even swear the sun is out. Or is it just me? Ugh, if I only didn't have to go back to work. So I'm gonna rush 
to a cider house that I heard is really good, close to downtown. We're not gonna have time to sit there and enjoy the cider, but I can buy the cider and take it with me so that I can try it later. So excited about that. And then another little note, just um, got on the car with the radio on and I hear French. I'm like, well, of course, we're so close to Canada, right? To the French part of Canada. It's just one of the things I just never think of. But yeah, that's where we are. So off to the cider house. the cold how the uh, cider place they're closing in five but i was able to make it and i'm having some hot cider so good and perfect for a rainy day like this great great place mm. so maybe right on time look at this day it's cold it's cold and it's been raining and all of that and i just have hot cider that is so good love it I'm so glad I made it they're closed now I'm in pretty much the last one to enter but totally worth it totally worth it Vermont So it was back on the road one last time. What more can I possibly ask of this beautiful state? Maybe to say goodbye with the rainbow? Oh, you Vermont. Good morning, we are leaving the Northern Lights Lodge here in Vermont. Great people. I slept well because they had good pillows and were very nice and attentive. So, um, leaving and we're on our way to Connecticut. We also met, made friends with um, the guy that served their breakfast. He had a few tips for us. He had a few tips. One is too late because it's about New Hampshire and that's where I was already. But in any case, loved Vermont loved it for sure this is one of the places i need to come back and stay stay you know not just visit um anyway here we go i'm gonna miss the green and the reddish because it's definitely getting more red more red leaves and we are officially in fall so before we leave vermont passing the corn maze Forgot to tell you, yesterday I saw a fox, a red fox, by the side of the road. I thought it was kind of like a dog, because I'm not used to foxes, but um, what a beautiful creature, all red with like, you know, the, the black paws. Ah, magnificent. I wish I could have taken some video, but um, you know, I was driving, so priorities. But uh, I saw a fox. I had never seen a fox before, so I'm pretty happy about that one. So bye-bye it was, but not a final farewell for sure. There was still a lot of driving to do, but boy, was my heart full.